we still have a man of God who carries this voice. Though, because of the, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the counterfeit of some of the voices that there are a lot of voices that we hear these days. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I believe that we still have the true voice of God mm -hmm. here in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I, I, I also support him to a point and then digress, I mean, that I read a letter from. Yeah. Uh, um, like he mentioned, Archbishop, he is more than a prophet. You know, we have voices, men of God, who are really voices of mm -hmm. nations, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. you know, uh, and uh, people really uh, uh, respond to it. But when you look in, even into the scripture, the, uh, the New Testament, um, uh, the prophetic uh, 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 ministry, you know, was not really reali uh, recognized as the... the, the what is one of the old? Uh, uh, um, the New Testament. Mm -hmm. it, it was not really recognized as, as uh, uh, the top of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was rather the apostles. And even in the, in the choice of um, I mean, leaders of the ch church, yeah. it did not say those who prophesy. No. Or it did not say uh, um, prophesy to the people. It says teach. Mm -hmm. So, you know, more focus is given to teaching yeah. and scripture. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and that does not mean that there were not prophets. Mm -hmm. There were prophets, all right. But their prophecies were always measured by scripture, mm -hmm. you know. So even in the New Testament, you realize that it was not so much, like authority was not given to them so much, but were rather the apostles. Mm -hmm. And so like in our time, we have apostles, mm -hmm. you know, we have bishops who are really playing that role, like mm -hmm. Archbishop Duncan Williams, he is a vote. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the church right now, the, the prophetic focus yeah. has, has, has really, really drifted into something. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's really causing problems. Uh, uh, people are, are, are really even finding problems to listen to the genuine ones. Yeah. Uh, and that is why I, I, yeah, I support that. I mean, we have voices, prophetic voices, yeah. but they are not really coming out. Why? Because, you know, focus has drifted into something else. Mm -hmm. And people are really doubting it. And some churches that do not even want and to. The tail yeah, exactly. Yeah. Voice, yeah. So yeah. It, it's really, you know, mm -hmm. affecting it. Mm -hmm. and, and people, I mean, competition is even going on. Yeah. So the genuine prophets are not recognized. Mm -hmm. yeah. But people are recognizing those, you know, who give. You no know, prophecy just to, you know, earn some money and things like that. And so, yeah, I think it's true when you say that it's true. So, it, it okay, so we all have a <laughs> point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the fact is, God, God has given a prophetic ministry for, for the benefit of the church, for, to build up the church, you know. Uh, uh, and where, where there's a lot, where it's not coming like the way it's supposed to be, of course, we've got to, you know, look at it and see if something can be done. Um, now, we, 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 well, I, I, I hope we'll get back to this along the line, mm -hmm. but l let, let's look at uh, some of the issues that are discrediting the prophetic ministry today. But uh, before that, let me tell our listeners that you are on the pastoral forum right now, and we are transmitting to you on 105.2 megahertz, Anita, and 103.8 on cable. This is the pastoral forum coming to you live on the airways of radio. Uh, Razo by courtesy of Radio Voice of Niger. Uh, if you want to react or interact with us on this show, please call us on 0236-81968. Okay, now, what are some of the issues discrediting, discrediting the prophetic ministry today? What are some of the issues? Straight up competition. <laughs> 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 that is for what? Um, you know, for uh, honor or for what? Yeah, yeah. For exactly. Prestige. For prestige, for honor, yeah. for, for, for what I, I, I sometimes don't even understand. You know, uh, I have more power or I am more accurate <laughs> or I'm well known or whatever, you know. And then it also goes into materialism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so do. prestige is what? Yeah. Co competition is that you're yeah. for prestige. Yeah. Uh huh. And, and then and then uh, prestige. Yeah, great for money. Yeah. Th yeah. Materialism. Mm -hmm. Gold rush. <laughs> <laughs> I also believe that. Uh, well, why why do a lot of problems come to Amsterdam? I feel like there's more money in Amsterdam than. I, in the the maybe they region. have seen that uh, <laughs> the, the the problem in Amsterdam is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, the problem in Amsterdam is too much. You know, uh, <laughs> our people are refusing to uh, hear sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. that is what one of the problems that we are facing. Yes, they are refusing to to, to hear sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it's it, uh, the problems are too many. That's why they want a quick fix. <laughs> uh, maybe, but you the see, God is not moved by, uh, 
you know, your problem or whatever, yeah. God moves by yes. His time. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. moves by His time. Mm -hmm. God has seen things where uh -huh. He visits men. Yeah. You know, and uh, even somewhere in the Bible, Jesus said that occupy till I come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so I I believe that the and one of the things that we should understand is that the Bible is the Bible is declared as sure with a prophecy. Mm -hmm. You know, so even if you don't have a prophet, you still have the prophet because the prophet, uh, the prophecy is the Bible. You know, the word of God, and men are refusing to um, to study the word of God and also to hear systematic. I call it systematic prophecy. Mm -hmm. The word of God is systematic prophecy. Yes. It teaches you there is something I call prophetic mountains, where uh, God picks a man, shows you uh, your your you know. Yeah, how do you call it? What he wants to do, his plans and purposes for you. Yeah. Uh, shows you. He puts you on a, a mountain, mm -hmm. then shows you another mountain. You see that uh, this is what God wants to do for me. So you can see, mm -hmm. and that is what the prophet is supposed to do to direct, mm -hmm. to instruct. Mm -hmm. uh, now, between the two mountains are valley, and in that valley, mm -hmm. that is the only way you can get to that place, to the other mountain where God has, you know, provided all these things. And what you need to do is, you need to go through that valley. And within that valley, uh, God will not tell you what you face in that valley. Mm -hmm. But the word of God, the sure word of God, mm -hmm. is there to teach you, is there to guide you. So David even said in Psalm 23, that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm -hmm. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. You know, so um, that is the systematic um, prophecy, that is the teaching. You need to go to, uh, when a prophecy comes, Mm -hmm. The teacher is there to take to take that individual and to guide that individual through that prophecy by giving that person a systematic teaching to be able to wait for the maturity of the prophecy. And our people don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it. They want quick fix. The other day, I I I I I heard a prophet, you know, speaking. Now, now, now let me come here. You're making a, a good point. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I, I think the, pro the prophets of today, uh, permit me to just yeah. bring out this criticism this way. Uh, I think they give us words, mm -hmm. but That's not the words on. are not solid or specific or clear enough. Now, for example, if a prophet in the Old Testament will come to you and say, well, that is a lot, a year by now, this is what's going to happen, mm -hmm. they might even give you the date and the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it will not fail. Yeah. Okay, uh, but these days I think the prophecies are a bit too generalized. So I'm wondering what's the problem? Is that they are not seen clearly uh, for us to, I mean, for, for, us, for them to be able to release the sure word of prophecy as opposed to be, or, or what, what could be happening? You know, so there is really some disparity in the quality of the word that is coming out, you know, compared with what the word is supposed to be. A prophet by definition is somebody you either see or you hear from God and it declares God's word to somebody. It has to be concrete, it has to be you know, solid. Of course, some promises are conditional. Mm. Okay. But why, I don't, why don't we have that level of authenticity yeah. which, we, which we, we expect to see? Uh, I will consider this. Yes, go <laughs> It's a lot of you know, yeah. so, so, yeah. For some, I think that it's, it's not really prophetic, but they are just using psychology. What I call psychological uh -huh. <laughs> you know, uh, looks at, yeah, looks. For instance, you know, he, he knows my background. You know yeah. I mean, and then knows that I am studying and I'm into books, and he can just look at me and say, a year by this time or four years to come, uh -huh. you you will be uh, <laughs> exactly a professor here or a professor yeah. there. You know, he might not even see the school, the yeah. exam university, but he knows that this is what I'm into. And so he uses psychology, mm -hmm. and then some also get it, you know. But the interpretation of it, even even Agabus, yeah. you know, uh, I mean, his, his interpretation of that revelation yeah. he had yeah. was not very accurate, because it wasn't the uh, the Jews that really bound Paul, yeah. you know. 
Yeah, and, and, and you know, the Jews were even waiting to beat Paul. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't really like uh, um, the Jews took him and delivered him peacefully, yeah. you know. So, uh, um, but it came to pass. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and in our time, it's how you, you, you really, as we said the other time, symbols. Yeah. How you can really interpret the symbols, yeah. you know, to get the accurate, you know, uh, uh, statement that but God is And probably not supposed to fill up with interpretation. The interpretation is the work of the Holy Spirit. He gives the interpretation. So even if a, pro if a prophet gives a prophecy, mm -hmm. uh, the interpretation to that prophecy shouldn't come from him. I mean, from his own uh, will of the life. Uh, no, because, yes, good reaction no, to that. I would, I would to pass yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, because uh, he said yeah. that you might see it in symbols mm -hmm. and types. Yeah. Yeah. No, sometimes God can show you, yeah. um, uh, let's say, a picture. Yeah. Yeah. And that picture yeah. needs to be interpreted. Yeah. Uh, you remember, you know, um, uh, Samuel the prophet. He even got this. Yeah. Um, right. He even he even message as to, you know, um, when God spoke to him yeah. to go to the house of Jesse. Yeah. You know, he even message, he 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 was one of the major prophets, but. He, he, he didn't get it correct yeah. until okay. God spoke to, to him. Mm -hmm. Now, so day, when God there? gives you something oh, like... Yeah. Something what? Is, uh, I think we have a call on the line. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing, man of God? Do you have a question for a panelist or a remark? Or? Okay, go ahead, sir. in the Greek, yeah. you know, uh, um, it was even in use mm -hmm. outside the church yes. in Greek philosophy, right. you know, and it, it, it talks about somebody who reviews, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, the mind of That's God, right. the revelation of God to the people, you know? and then uh, uh, um, uh, when we're talking about word of knowledge, mm -hmm. word of wisdom, you know, these are gifts that really, you know, uh, um, adds to that office, you know, so exactly, yeah, and so uh, uh, um, um, uh,